Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shocksburg Gamer. Today I have uh, a video for you that is the very, very first of this little. not really series, but it's uh, one of the daily things that I'm doing. And today is Complain Day. Yes, it is a Wednesday. It is Complain Day. And uh, today we have a topic that um, I hold very strongly. Today I'm going to be talking about how Pokemon Soul Silver got all the starters right. Just in every aspect, really. Um, they they were just perfect. I believe they were the best Pokemon game to do it. Uh, to control all of the um, starters very balanced. And um, let's get into the reasons why I think this. Okay. First of all, one of the biggest reasons I wanted to do this was black and white. And black too and white too. I felt that they weren't um, the best at showing off the um, starters. The, you had one starter. You were, to my knowledge, I played through entire white. I was never, ever involved in, like, getting another starter. And I don't think you ever do. And, um, I hated it for that. I really did. Um, um, and then when white 2, uh, and black 2 came out, I obviously got white 2. Um, there's no point in getting one and then getting the other. Um, I did, um, get, um, white too and there was no starters again so um by the way the video is just sort of me um eve training so you can watch that while you talk, hear me talk but um soul silver got it perfect in every aspect i truly believe that because um at the start of the game you get a choice of totodile um chikorita or cyndaquil and um those are they're pretty solid starters not my favorite bunch by f by far they're probably my least but they're not bad um i definitely i always pick totodile um but, um, when you beat the game, you got a choice of Bulbasaur, Squirtle, or Charmander. And then, after that, if you do certain stuff, you can get a Torchic, a, um, Torchic, a Mudkip, and a Trico. And, um, I thought this was perfect. I mean, like, it was a very, very just reward for all of the hard work that you put in. Um, and, um... I think it was the best um, at doing that, at, you know, um, you know, balancing it, because, like, in the end, like, and there were three starters you could get, which technically means you could, like, balance out your team. You could make one water, one grass, and one fire, so, like, on my original playthrough, I picked for, uh, f Total Dial, which became for Alligator, then I picked a... Uh, Charmander, which became a Charizard, and then I picked the Trico, which became a Scepter. So those three were like the main three of my team. So, you know, there was no, like, needing to use other Pokemon. Those three, you sent them into battle, they kicked ass. They could not be stopped. They would just go into the battle, and they would destroy anything in their path. But you didn't really get the same feeling when it came to, um, you know, uh, white and or black, um, or white 2 and black 2, because, you know, the starters, in my opinion, look, I picked Snivy originally, and it became Servant and Superior, and I liked it, I liked it, um, Superior, it was a good Pokemon, um, then I picked Oshuot, I got to do Osh, and I was still loving the Pokemon, I loved the moves, it had really good moves, I think it was the only Pokemon to learn Razor Shell, and then they made Shelter learn it later, just, you know, for the la for the laugh. Um, but then it evolved into Samurott, and I, I don't know why, but I hated Samurott. Like, why would this kind of uh, ninja, kind of, you know, otter, turn into this four-legged thing? Like, I know I was trying to be, like, look like an otter, but it didn't, really. Like, it didn't. And then... Embor is actually really good. Embor, I'd actually say, is the strongest. I know a lot of people didn't like it because it was the third fire in fighting. We got tired of it. Infernape was a bit, you know, annoying. Infernape I actually liked. But when it got to the third uh, fire in fighting, people got bored of it. And they didn't want another fire in fighting. So that's, I think, a reason why people didn't like um, Embor. They didn't want to be um, seen around it. But um, actually, Embor is a very good Pokemon. Um... If you gave that thing heat crash, um, you were dominant. You couldn't be stopped. You were in control of the entire game. And, um, yeah, so, that's the thing. Um, and then, 
in other games, like, I know, to be fair now, you might be saying, hey, wait, Diamond and Pearl, um, they technically didn't have any other stars you could pick from, um, as well, and, um, well, Fire Red and Leaf Green don't count, because they're technically the first game in the series, like, there's no way, like, that, that, that was just there, but, um, yes, I will give you that, Platinum, Diamond and Pearl did the same thing. But you know what? They had such cool Pokemon anywhere. Gen 5 didn't get any Mega Evolutions. That just tells you how much they, you know, missed out with that. And, you know, in Gen 4, you had so much good Pokemon. You had Lucario, Luxray, um, ha no, not Houndoom. I almost said Houndoom. I believe Hit Hippopotas, I think I'm saying it right. Um, uh, they evolved so many or, or earlier Pokemon, um, like Electabuzz into Electivere, uh, Magmar into Magmortar, all the, like, your favourite Pokemon from Gen 1, they evolved them. So you didn't really need a starter, and the legendaries were good. I, but, like, back to White and White 2, Black and Black 2, you know, the Pokemon weren't that good. And, um, like, I'd have to say White 2 and Black 2 are my least favourite Pokemon games so far. Um... By a long shot, actually, I really didn't enjoy it. I got to a certain point, and I had like a Magnezone and a Metagross on my team, and it was a really good team, actually. I made them all—I made them all Steel types, and um, um, but I got to a point where I was just like, "This isn't a good Pokemon game," and I might be alone on this one, but my friend has agreed with me. He said, "Yes, he got the same feeling." Um, so um, if you guys have ever had the same um you know, feelings about, uh, the game, uh, please leave a comment below, um, why do you think this ga the game suffered, and, uh, I'll see you next time on Complain Day, hopefully it won't be as, you know, sad.